Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 28 of our Road to Cricket Glory career mode guys with New Zealand in Crew Captain 2020 where today we have the all important game against the Australians at their home ground at the SCG in Sydney. Of course, this match in itself actually means nothing to our World Cup hopes because Australia are already out of the World Cup and Papua New Guinea, West Indies, Australia can no longer overtake us and Pakistan on the table. And so as a result, we are through to the next round. We are completely safe. So with that in mind, it is just a warm-up match, if you will, a momentum match to the semi-final which we assume will be against either Ireland, South Africa, or England. Whichever team comes top of Group 2, we will be taking on, unless Pakistan lose to... I'm not entirely sure, but if they lose the next game. All right, we're going to get straight into it here. Australia. Can we beat Australia in a T20 World Cup match? It will be interesting to see. Now, Phillips is completely out of form. I hate to say it, guys. We're going to try our luck with Phillips yet again. It's the old Martin Guptill dilemma where do you drop him for Seifert and hope that Seifert will do better or do you keep backing him to go? So obviously this is not with Martin Guptill at this stage. It's obviously with Glenn Phillips, but it's the same sort of dilemma. Although in saying that, maybe this is a good opportunity. I think this is. We're going to change things up. Seifert will come in for this game, just this game. And if he can blast it out the park, he will stay for the next game. This is an opportunity for Seifert to take his spot in the World Cup in the World Cup semi-final if he can make any runs if he can't then Phillips will therefore be there instead otherwise I think the team will remain unchanged yet again because our batting lineup and bowling has been pretty good can we do it against Australia here is the real question here here we go we're going to play the match against Australia Seifert comes in for Phillips is the only change Labashane is in the side there, averaging 46, but batting at number 7. Interesting call. But he is batting behind Marsh, Maxwell, Carey, Smith, Warner, and Finch. That we are going to call heads. Kane's going to call heads. We have won the toss here against Australia, and we're going to continue our tradition. We are going to have a bowl first. I don't think the conditions will change too much between innings, and we are very good with the ball up front, so we're going to try it again today. Bolt to Warner. Has he got a tickle on it? No. Oh, what a delivery that is, though. Wow, wee, that was certainly some delivery. Jameson to Finch. He's knocked him over. Thank you very much. The Australians lose an early one. Finch gone for two off six. Goodbye to Aaron Finch. Trent Bolt to Steve Smith. Down the ground. Beats it on, though, for four. Bolt to Warner. Launched away for six. What a pickup shot that is from Warner. 18 for one. Off the back foot from Smith. These two were good last game. Pulled fine, beats fine leg for four more. Inside out for four. These two are on fire, it is fair to say. We're going to bring, we just need a wicket here. We need one of these two out. Bolt, one more. Goes through mid wicket for four to Smithy. And over cover for six. What a shot. And it threw extra cover for four more. Smithy is 29 off 10. What is going on? Nisham to Warner. Oh my goodness, over point for six. Edged in, oh, it's down. Powered away from Smith. Gee, could that, oh, I think we might rue that one. That is a very bad drop. We have not started well at all here. Mitchell Satner comes on with a lot of work to do. Oh, it's a good shot off the back foot. That's going to be four. Satner to Smith. Need to work it badly. Oh my goodness. How did that not get caught? Look at this. Lockie Ferguson. We need to break this partnership. Lockie Ferguson to Smith. Edged leg side. It'll be six singles. 78 for one. Australia looking really good here. Oh, he's got him. Satin has got Warner caught behind though for 35 of 24. You beauty. We have an opening at last. Nisham returns to Steve Smith. Goes leg side. Should have expected it from Steve Smith, really. Again, goes straight. They're looking for two. I reckon they'll get it easy, though. Oh, no, it's one even 50 for Steve Smith. Well, does a 24 ball half century. Unreal stuff from Steve Smith. Mitchell Satner to carry note. Oh, swings and misses. Satner comes around the wicket. 
Oh my. Six. Six over cover. He's too good. Lockie Ferguson has to clean up here. Lockie Ferguson to Alex Carey. Cuts it away. Just wide of point for four. Outside the line. Ferguson to Steve Smith. Edge straight. There's no one there. And it's going to be four. Steve Smith, 61 off 27. Great last over from Mitch Satner. One for 27, his figures. Great work. Lockie to Steve Smith. Swings and misses it. Kerry gets bumped. Oh, it's palmed the way. It'll be four. It is going pretty badly here for New Zealand. It is fair to say. Nishim to Smith. Swings and misses. We'll take it. Edged away. We'll take that. Great over. Jameson returns to Steve Smith. Nearly bowls him, but it's punched away for four. Oh. Oh. Jeepers. 139. Six, I reckon. Yeah. Six. Caught him. No. Oh, my. What is going on? I. That was an easy catch. Oh, no. 149 for two. New Zealand are cooked. That is for sure. We are not bowling well at all. We have not had a lot of luck either, to be fair. And it's turning out to be a pretty disastrous end to the innings here. Bolt to Kerry. Good work, Bolte. Another well bowled Yorker. Oh, that's going to be four, though. Yeah, beats the fielder. 162. This is what happens when you have freedom, guys, to just go out and play the game. The Australians have already been knocked out. They've got nothing to play for except national pride. And that national pride they're keeping in touch. That is given, though. Jameson to Kerry. Is that down leg? Do you reckon that's down leg? Let's have a look here again. What? Oh, yep, clipping. We'll take it. Jameson gets the second. He's been expensive. Maxwell, first ball. Not to be. Lockie at the death. Okay, Lockie at the death here. One run. Lockie to Maxwell. Pulled in the air. And taken. No ball. Free hit. Bowled him. Ferguson. M missed it through his legs. Six. Steve Smith. One. Last ball of the innings. Edged. Good stop. 179 for three. Wow, we. Great performance there from Steve Smith. 93 not out. In fact, it's his best T20 international score of 52 balls. Alex Carey, 46 off 36. David Warner, 35 off 24. Not good news for New Zealand ahead of our semi final encounter. Pakistan, 131 all out as well. Jeepers, we're both struggling big time. Mitch Stark to open up to Guptil. Cuts it away, Guptil. Oh, jeepers. Miss field straight away. Drives past cover for four. Pulled. Could be run out. Is he in? He's in. Nine off the first. Pat Cummins comes around the wicket. Leg side is Guptil. Six. Dabbed away by Guptil. That's a great shot. That's four. He's 21 off 10. Screaming out the door. Cypher goes leg side for four. Pat Cummins to Cypher. Cuts it. Dropped. And hits it away for four. Is that... Is that a big moment in the match or what? Dropped. You're kidding. Hazelwood around the wicket. Pulled by Guptil for four. Hazelwood again around the wicket. Oh, Guptil goes for six. Thank you. 35 off 19. I'm really interested in whether I should up him or not. Because he, he's already going at quite a clip. Pat Cummins for his third. Goes leg side again. Guptil four more. And that's the only four off the over. Power play is done now. Nine's needed, though. That is... Oh, jeepers. They are really putting the brakes on here. Pat comes to bowl out, though. That will be pulled fine, though, from Seifert. Okay, we don't mind this. Hazelwood around the wicket. Whipped away. Four. Off the back foot. Guptil. Four more. Again, off the back foot. Four more. Leg side. Six. Brings up 50. 19th T20 International 50 for Guptil. Jeepers. He's been pretty good, actually. Wow, his form's been ex explosive. 61 off 37. Nine's required per over, though. We are still ahead of the par. Jide Richardson to Seifert. And he's got him. Gets it back to come back nicely. 
Kane comes to the crease. He's going to have to go for it. He's gone. First delivery. What? Kane's gone LBW for a golden duck. Oh, no. 98 required in the next 10 overs. Conway pulls that fine. Four. And he's gone LBW. The New Zealand players cannot keep it away from their pads right now. We need 10s per over, though. Guptill drives it down the ground. It'll be four. Cuts it away. Four more. Guptill's going to have to do the job here. Jide Richardson. Edged, but there's no slip. It's fine for four. Ross Taylor. Cuts it away. Beats the player. Four more. Mitchell Marsh to bowl. Nines needed per over. Oh, it's just, it's dicey. Ross Taylor's the real dicey one. Oh, no. Oh, that could be the game. He's got him. Struck in line. Guptill goes for 75 or 43. And I think, to be honest, that is the game. Don't really see a way back from here. Chapman is going to have to go for it here. Ross Taylor works it away. And they should get home. And they will. Ross Taylor cuts it though. Four. No ball. Free hit. Four. Okay. Don't mind it. 56 from 30. We can still do this. It's going to have to require a bit of bit of work here. 55 off 29. Oh, he's got him again. Those Yorkers. That's five LBWs in a row. Don't know what to say. Shocking. Well, we need 10 to over. It's fair to say we have to go for it. That's a good leg side shot from Chapman. That's going to be four. Cut away. Four more. Can Chapman prove his worth late in the tournament here? Mitchell Stark returns, though. To Nisham, who edges that straight. And I tell you what, it's going to be four. 31 off 18. It's only eight off that over, though. So that's 10 and over. 10 per over needed. Chapman. Edged past the keeper. Take it. Nisham. Punched away. Pass point for four. Chapman. Flicks this away leg side after a shuffle. Four more. 18 off 12. Bumped. But it's off the back foot from Nisham. It's four. 14 off 11. Stark balls another full toss. It's four more. 10 from 10. Nisham. Bowled him. Nisham's gone. Oh no. First, first look at this. Not a LBW. 10 off 9. Satna. Edged and taken. 10 off 8. 9 off 7. Chapman. 8 off 6. Okay. 8 off 5. Chapman. 7 from 4. Down to Jameson. And he's bowled. 7 from 3. Trent Bolt. Come on, Bolty. We need a 6 from you now, buddy. Oh, no. 7 from 2. It's not going to happen, is it? Bolty. Lockie Ferguson has to do it. 6 too tight. And he can't. Australia win the match by six runs. Another awful choke by New Zealand. 10 off 10 is all we needed. 10 off 10. I cannot believe that. I'm very frustrated with our finishing ability. 10 off 10. We should walk in any day of the week. Marsh takes four for 22. His best T20 international figures. Netherlands beat Pakistan. Wowee. What has happened there? Well, that's a huge upset for both teams there. And unfortunately, Australia get the points. They don't go anywhere. They're still in third place and they will still be knocked out. But nonetheless, okay, here we go. Waiting for other matches. All right. Wow, we. It looks like we are versing Ireland in the semi final. So let's just look what's happened here, shall we? Let's go through some results. Okay, so we lost. Obviously, by six runs against Australia. Massive upset. We just couldn't couldn't get across the line, unfortunately. We couldn't land the killer blow. And neither could Pakistan, who lost to the Netherlands after they got bundled for 131. And they chased it down. So, Netherlands pull an off, upset off as well late in the piece. Hassan Ali, 3 for 18. Ackerman, 34 of 25, and they just scraped home 10 to scale 24 of 13. Netherlands win. I think it's Van der Hooten. Van der Hooten, we're going to go with, but Van der Hooten gets 4 for 20. West Indies beat Papua New Guinea. I'm not really going to look at the scores too much because that didn't really matter uh, in terms of the World Cup. Ireland bet England. Would you believe it? England lost to Ireland. Roy Duck, Hales Duck, Stokes Duck, Ol Morgan 7, Young 3, Markadier 1, Kane 1, Gert Cat got 2. 
Singh got three. And Paul Sterling, 63 of 41. Balburnie, 32. And they chased it down. Would you believe it? Ireland through to their first semi final. They're through to their first T20 World Cup semi final in their entire history after beating England. Absolute scenes there. Afghanistan beat India. What crazy scenes there. They chased. They couldn't chase 189. Kohli was the, was not out, and he still couldn't get them across the line. Mohamed Shazad, 63 of 44. Zadaran, 52 of 25. Janet, 29 of 20, not out. Boomer, 3 for it wasn't enough. Gee, Hardik Pandya did not have a good night out. Kohli, 81, not out. And with that, Afghanistan upset India. Again, doesn't really matter too much in the World Cup standards, but never mind. What? Milan. Janaman Milan. Gets 146 deliveries. Would you believe it? His maiden T20 100. No, T20 International 100. What a time to do it. Against Bangladesh in the World Cup. For a spot in the semi-final. And they did it. Tama McBall, 66 of 49. And a few contributions there. Ningeti Forfa. Rabada bowled extremely well. And with that, Bangladesh were beaten by South Africa. Who are through to the semi-final. So, let's have a look here. Pakistan are taking on South Africa for a spot in the final. Ireland are taking on New Zealand. Whoever wins gets a spot in the final as well. And have either of any of these teams won? Yes, Pakistan have previously won in 2009, but not since. So there are three un... I was going to say uncapped, you know, like... There are three, three teams who have not won the tournament before playing, which is us, New Zealand, Ireland... And South Africa. Okay. It says continue. So we're going to do that. And South Africa beat Pakistan. And they are through to the final. Would you believe it? So Pakistan, 142 for 9. Fuller Guaya, 3 for Morris, 1 for 14. Brilliant. 2 for 28 for Pretorius. Nengedi, 2 for 24. Safraz Ahmed, 43 of 30. But it wasn't enough. South Africa chase it down. Milan, 26 off 13. Decock, 72 off 36. Player of the match as well. Hassan Ali, Mohamed Amir, and Shoab Malik could not stop South Africa in their tracks. And they cruise through to their first T20 World Cup final. As we are going to take on, in the next episode, guys, we are taking on Ireland at... The, the SCG, once again, we haven't played many games other than, I guess, at Sydney, which is interesting, but there you go. We're playing at the SCG yet again. Can we take it home? We should be Ireland, guys. We should be Ireland, but we just lost to Australia by six runs, and it's going to be very, very interesting. Let's say that. We, we, we're very thankful this has happened. We could have been missing England here, but... Losing, giving Ireland a spot in the T20 World Cup final would definitely hurt if we do that. But we have a good chance, guys, to go through to the T20 World Cup final for the first time in New Zealand's history. Can we get it done, guys? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, especially on Twitter. I tweet out a lot. And join my Discord server or hit the post notification bell to receive exclusive updates for when all my videos go live. Let me know your thoughts and comments on the series down below, guys. Anything at all would be greatly appreciated. Who do you think will lift the T20 World Cup, guys, now that three teams are left? South Africa through to the final, New Zealand and Ireland to compete in the second semi-final at Sydney. Who do you think it's going to be in 2020 in this game, guys? Let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode of this very, very exciting series, guys. Next time we have the semi-final, wish us luck, guys. Goodbye for now.